So, Jabril, can you describe me what a nanostructure still is and why do we all worry about the thermal stability? Yes, so nanostructure implies a large density of interfaces. Mm -hmm. um, for example, in this case, it's about 100 million meters square per meter cubic. So, these interfaces connect austenite and pinatic ferrite, and the austenite is vital uh, in providing a work hardening mechanism without which nanostructure. Uh, metals imply or simply have uh, little or no ductility. So in the case for high temperature uh, applications just as in shaft of the aerospace engine, uh, temperature close to 400 Celsius degree are typical. So the austenite must not then decompose into ferrite and cementite. Okay, thank you, Jibril. Because mm -hmm. you have looked at two different alloys, one with exceptional high nickel concentration and the other one with really high silicon concentration. So why? So it's indeed. Uh, the, so the first one, which is the high silicon, in this case the silicon is delayed the precipitation of cementite. Mm -hmm. And in the other alloy, we discovered that the retained austenite becomes more stable as the temperature is increased. Okay. Um, so how does this one affect the tensile behavior? So because I believe you have definitely conducted many tensile tests at different temperatures. Yes, good question. So we have uh, distinguished austenite that um, transform at the test temperature mm -hmm. and also that which formed during cooling from that temperature. Mm -hmm. So basically an optimum level of stability ensures that the austenite delays and the ones of plastic instability. Okay, thank you, Jibreel. Thank you very much. Jibreel, there are thousands of papers on bainite containing retained austenite, so why bother? This paper would be in the literature forever. But it would be only two people read it, you and the referee. But these are both intelligent people. But isn't, seriously, isn't bainite old? No, I prepared the bainite afresh one year ago. But I mean, isn't it an old subject? Not as old as general relativity. Have you ever thought of making the fer ferrite transform during deformation rather than austenite? You see, if I boil it along the direction 100 zero, zero, mm -hmm. ferrite, it eventually becomes austenite, the reverse of pain strain. So why didn't you do it? Our department cannot apply the required stress of 224 uh, gigawatt. How about other place? I will look in Amazon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good. I got.